Hello and welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we'll solve a problem that has got ratio, percentage, and uh, volume of cubes and cuboids. Okay, so here's the question it says a rectangular juice dispenser has a base area of 450 centimeters square and a height of 25 centimeters. Gail adds syrup and water in the ratio 1 to 3 to the dispenser to make a beverage. If he uses 6.75 liters of water, what percentage of the dispenser will be filled when the beverage is made? Okay, so it's quite a mouthful, but it's uh, really not difficult at all. So here is what we have. We have a rectangular dispenser, rectangular juice dispenser. And in this dispenser, Gail is adding syrup and water in the ratio 1 to 3, which means one part of syrup to three parts of water. Okay, now if he uses 6.75 liters of water, then we have to find out what percentage of this dispenser will be filled when the beverage is made. Okay, so let's see, if he's using one part of syrup to three parts of water, then how much beverage has he made in total? Okay, so if he uses one part of syrup, let's say this, then he is using three of these units of water. Let's make that here. Okay, I'm gonna color it blue because this is water. So this is the syrup, let me write that down. This is syrup. Now we don't know how much quantity of syrup, okay? We only know one part of syrup to three parts of water. So let me make those three parts. One part of water, two parts of water, and one more, right? Three parts of water. Okay. So one part of syrup to three parts of water, which means this over here is water. Okay. Now we know that these three parts of water are equal to 6.75 liters, right? This is 6.75 liters. So if this is three sorry 6.75 liters then what can you tell about the quantity of syrup used well the syrup is obviously a third of the water because there are three parts of water and only one part of syrup so this unit over here is equal to a third of what the quantity of water is so it's only a third of 6.75 liters and let's see what is that equal to well that is equal to 6.75 divided by 3 right one third of 6.75 means 6.75 divided by 3 and that's equal to let's see that's equal to 2 and put the decimal point bring down the 7 3 goes into 7 twice and leaves a remainder of 1 then you bring down the 5 and this is 2.25 liters. So a third of 6.75 liters is 2.25 liters. So that tells us that the syrup, the amount of or the quantity of syrup used was 2.25 liters. Okay, so we know that there was 2.25 liters of syrup used and 6.75 liters of water used. Now, how do we put all that in the dispenser? Well, the dispenser has got 2.25 liters of syrup. So let's say one part about this much is equal to 2.25 liters. So let me draw that here. Let me mark that here. This is your syrup. Okay. Okay. So this is your syrup. Let's uh, put the pink color in it for the syrup. This is your syrup. Now, how about the water? Well, there are three parts of water, right? So let's put that as well. One, two, and three. So about this much. Okay. So this much water. So this is your water. Now, the quantity of syrup we know is 2.25 liters. So this is, okay, let's use white. So this is 2.25 liters and this is 6.75 liters. Now all together, there would be how much? Well, all together, there would be 6.75 plus 2.25. Well, how much is that equal to? Let's see, 6.75 
plus 2.25, that would be equal to 0, 0, 0016789. So that would be equal to 9 liters. So altogether, this is equal to 9 liters. Okay. Now, what is the question? Well, the question is, what percentage of the dispenser will be filled when the beverage is made? So there is 9 liters of beverage in the rectangular juice dispenser. We have to find out what percentage of the whole capacity of the rectangular dispenser is 9 liters. That's really what it is. Okay, now how do we do that? Well, let's see what information we've got about the dispenser. So we know that the dispenser has a base area of 450 centimeters square, which means that the product of its length, okay, the longer side is the length, and the bread, the shorter side. So the product of the length and the bread is the base area, right? So the base area is, let me make some room here. Okay, the base area is equal to the length times the bread, right? Length times bread. And that is equal to 450 centimeters square. Okay, what's the next piece of information we have? Well, the next piece of information is that the height of the dispenser is 25 centimeters. So this height, okay, from here to here is 25 centimeters. Okay, so this is 25 centimeter high. The dispenser is 25 centimeter high. Okay, now how do we use this information to find out what percentage of the dispenser will be filled when the beverage is made? Well, actually, we can find out the capacity of the dispenser, right? So the capacity or the maximum volume of the dispenser would be the product of the length, the breadth, and the height of the dispenser, right? So length times breadth times height. What is that? Well, length times breadth we know is 450 centimeters square. So we put that down. 450 centimeters square and the height is given to us it's equal to 25 centimeters so this is 25 centimeters okay so the capacity of the juice dispenser is 450 times 25 which means that if the juice dispenser is filled to the top to the brim then it can hold 450 times 25 cubic centimeter of uh, liquid okay any beverage or whatever Okay, so let's see. This would be equal to what? 450 times 25. Let's do some calculation here. 450 times 25. Well, that would be, I put the zero here. Then 25 times 5 is uh, 125. So 5 and 12 carried over. 25 times 4 is 100. Plus 12 is 112. Okay, so this is 11,250 cubic centimeters. So 1. 1250 centimeter cube, which is really equal to 11.25 liters. Right, so the capacity of the juice dispenser is 11.25 liters. All right, so we keep this information here and then we'll find out what percentage of the juice dispenser is filled when the beverage is made. Okay, now here are the things that we know. We know that the volume of beverage in the dispenser is 9 liters. Okay, so let's write that down. The volume of beverage is equal to 9 liters, right? So water plus syrup is equal to 9 liters. And we know that the capacity of the dispenser Okay, which means that the maximum volume of beverage that the dispenser can hold, so the capacity of dispenser, we just calculated that, it's equal to 11.25 liters, right? Now, if we go back to our figure, how much beverage is there in the dispenser is equal to 9 liters, and how much it can hold, which means from here to here is 11.25 liters. Now what we have to find out is what percentage of the dispenser will be filled when the beverage is made, which means that what percentage of 11.25 liters is 9 liters, which means that, you know, if we put a percentage scale here, okay, on the level of uh, beverage 
in the juice dispenser then if this is the bottom and if there is no beverage filled at all then 0% of the container or the dispenser is filled right if maybe halfway through was filled then it would be 50% of the dispenser that's filled now if it's filled to the top which means if it's filled to its capacity then 100% of the dispenser will be filled but our beverage is filled until this level right and we have to find out what this level is in terms of percentage okay so in short we have to find out that 9 liters is what percentage of 11.25 liters okay and the formula for that we know would be the volume of beverage that's in the container okay or in the dispenser over the maximum volume that it can hold which is the capacity of the dispenser times 100 percent so let's calculate that what's that equal to so just to make our calculations quick i'm going to use a calculator here Okay, so 9 divided by 11.25 times 100%. Well, that is equal to 80%. So that means that when the beverage is filled into the dispenser, 80% of the dispenser will be filled. So this question mark over here is equal to 80%. And that is the answer to your question. What percentage of the dispenser will be filled? When the beverage is made, well, 80% of the dispenser will be filled when the beverage is made. Okay, that brings us to the end of this lesson, which I hope you understood. And now please do go solve similar word problems uh, so you know how to solve such problems. And uh, as usual, visit www.homecampus.com.sg for practice problems and tests. Okay, this is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.